What's up everybody, Bradley here with Everyday Outdoors and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I use to film hunts. Alright, so uh, I know a lot of the people that follow my channel probably aren't going to be super interested in this, but I know a handful of you out there also love filming your hunts and using a DSLR and all that stuff, um, and like doing more professional looking content and all that. And if you want to step up your hunt filming game, I guess, I think I may have found the best piece of equipment you can use that's relatively affordable to be able to film your hunts with a DSLR and have it look awesome. So this right here is the Tamron 18 to 400 lens. This is the Canon EF mount, and uh, I think this is like the second version or something. So a little bit of backstory to how I even found this thing was uh, back when I was filming for the hunting grounds last fall, Steven had tasked me with finding and buying, well, like I didn't have to buy it, it was gonna be his lens, but he wanted me to shop for a do-it-all camera lens because the one we had didn't have a whole lot of range and it also had like a bunch of lens fog and all that, so like it looked horrible, everything that came out of it. So he needed a new lens and so he wanted me to uh, find one on Amazon and order it and we could use it to film all the hunts and I discovered this thing and I was pretty blown away that it could go all the way to 400 I think it's a 20x zoom but uh, when I actually got it I was even more blown away with what it could actually do so this thing let me just show you the amount of range it's got a little lock on it which I love so here's 18 millimeters right here and if you don't really understand millimeters that's okay um, 18 is what you would use like 18 and 24 is what you would use to like vlog and like self film if you're holding the camera like arms distance it like doesn't zoom in too much on your face it's like just the right amount and then 400 zooms in on the deer's eyeball halfway across a cornfield I mean it goes way out there which actually it's not bad it's still fairly compact but um what that actually what that actually gives you in the field is mind-blowing it can do some crazy stuff i used this thing the whole time i was on the hunting grounds which is where i got experience with it and then once i came home i bought one for myself and i used it all turkey season and it has not disappointed there has been uh, a couple things i'm not a huge fan of so Besides the fact that it can zoom like crazy, it's got a pretty low aperture. It goes down to 3.5 and then all the way up to 6.3 when you're zoomed into 400, which is kind of a bummer, but that's to be expected. And not to mention the fact that, I mean, this thing is tiny compared to a lens that would have a constant aperture and all that. Not to mention that lens would cost thousands of dollars and this one's a lot cheaper than that, but uh, I'm getting off topic. And as far as like apertures, like uh, I'm not gonna go super deep into that. Like I said, it goes from 3.5 to 18 millimeters all the way to 6.3 at 400. So as you can see, there's switches on the side, there's a lock, and then there's your autofocus and your vibration control. The vibration control works phenomenal when you're holding the camera by hand and you're just like trying to film holding the camera, especially if you're a Canon user like I am and none of the Canon cameras have any kind of internal stabilization this lens does a great job of stabilizing footage. However, when you have it on a tripod, it's like trying to counter movement that doesn't exist. So like if you do like a five or 10 minute long time lapse with your camera and you have vibration control on, you'll get this weird warping moving around picture uh, in your video and like it just looks horrible. So make sure whenever you've got this thing on a tripod or a tree arm, turn off vibration control. Um, and then for the autofocus, I don't use it unless I'm like filming myself and talking to the camera because when I have it on an animal, it makes this really obnoxious, it also comes with this lens cap, um, makes this really obnoxious noise. I'll try to simulate it here. That's about what it sounds like and it's super irritating and it's not so loud that like a deer or a turkey could hear it unless they were super close. But 
The thing is, is that whenever it's doing that, it's also making the focus go in and out while the camera's recording. So that's super frustrating. Like it has a hard time finding focus. It doesn't have a great focus motor on it. Um, but I mean, for the price that this thing comes at, I mean, it can't do everything. It's already doing so much. So if it has mediocre autofocus, that's okay. Typically I just use the manual focus and that works fine for me. So I've mentioned all the stuff about the price. So how much does this thing actually cost? Brand new on Amazon, this thing costs about $600. Uh, I picked it up used, but in like brand new condition, still came in the box and all that for about $450, I think. Um, so between, you know, $500, $600 is how much you're looking to pay for this. And that may sound like a ton of money considering that like the kind of camera you'd put this on only costs between $600 and $1,000. But if you think about it, this lens is going to replace, you know, like the kit lens that comes with your camera and it is going to last you a long time. And it's really more of an investment. If you plan on doing YouTube or plan on uh, filming hunts for a long time in the future, this thing will have you covered forever and it will do everything you want it to. Now, of course, on like a professional level, if you're wanting to do super high quality professional stuff or like you have uh, some kind of like production company or a business where you make videos, then this obviously like isn't gonna cut it for you. You're gonna need something with more professional features. But for people who just wanna film hunts and have really awesome footage and be able to zoom in on a deer's eyeball, even though they're using a DSLR and all that, this is the go-to lens. It is just, it's perfect. For filming hunts, it's pretty much perfect. I think the sharpness and contrast is really nice that comes out of this. Uh, I feel like the Tamron lenses have a, have kind of a different look that come out of them compared to the Canon lenses, which personally I'm a fan of. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Tamron 18-400. Like I said earlier in the video, most of my demographic that watches these videos aren't going to be interested in this, but for those of you who do like filming your hunts, uh, this is a great piece of equipment for you to look into. And I'll put a link down below so you guys can go check it out. All right, guys, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, or anything at all, please feel free to comment them down below. Uh, I'll be sure to get back to you within like a day or so. I love going down and talking to you guys, so just feel free to go down there and comment with any thoughts or questions or whatever. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Everyday Outdoors, and until next time, God bless.